class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? Check it out. We got Brutus the Barber. We got the Hall of Fame version. We are doing the Freshman 15. We are doing a quick video. My first impressions of him at Six Star Silver just got off stream with the reveal. We're going to do a bigger and longer version, uh, of a deeper dive into Brutus. Uh, with everything, including his gears, which I don't have at the moment. He does have two gears. Trap gems do 75% more damage. And all color moves start with four more move points. And these two are going to make him an absolute monster in this game. And I will show you how and I will show you why. Uh, but first off, we're going to check out Brutus the Barber. Uh, just a quick go through. Aggressive Trickster. He is a coach. Green moves that deal damage will deal 30% more damage. Moves that generate green gems will create three more green gems. Does have the Hall of Fame link. We've already seen the two gears. We are going to go take him on the road with just a simple, easy uh, move set. We do have his plate right here. And his plate uh, is, it doesn't have it loaded in at the moment, but whenever you make, make six or, it's six or eight, I believe it's six more trap gems, you will do 75% more black gem damage. So because we're on the main account where everything is ultra and amazing, Fury 2's all to the max. This is a 130% gem damage strap. We're also going to put the Acolyte Seal on there, or the Seal of the Acolytes. Whenever we make six more submission gems, all of your gem damage is increased by 50% for your next turn. So we're going to take him out to see what we can do with him. Massive damage. All right, so... We are going to do the body slam, deal 126k, increase your black gem damage by 143% for one turn. The full Nelson. We're going to put four rows of trap gems down if broken by our opponent, which is what we want. We're going to increase the damage, uh, our black gem damage by 30% for tur two turns. If broken by us, we're going to make four random gems into black gems. And lastly, the submission. We're going to make 10 purple gems. They will do 208k for three turns. We don't care about that part. What we do care about is that when, our, uh, when they are left behind, they leave behind trap gems the same as before. They create either increased gem damage when they break them or we make random gems when we break them. So that's what we're going to be rolling with. Entourage-wise, we are going to be rolling out with getting our black moves set to go turn one. So that means, and any black MP here would work, um, but... We also want purple if we possibly can. That's why we got mellow here. Black gems also do 40% more damage. And two point two move points if you have Tori. Black gem more damage. And we put trap gem damage on the back end here with uh, acro dragon. And so we're going to roll out and see what we think uh, of this. Let's bro. So we're going to take on Brutus. We're going to take Brutus on the road and go against Eddie. Sometimes words are hard. So first things first, we're going to put down the trap gems. One, two, three, four. Give us enough room to play. And now what we need to do is refill these seven. So we need to make two matches with the purple gems that we get here. So there's one. There's two. We don't want to break any of our trap gems. That's the last thing we want to do. So we're going to put these here so that way he breaks the trap gems, hopefully. Our goal is for him to break as many trap gems as possible. So we filled up our purple move again. He's breaking a whole bunch of our trap gems. That's wonderful. We now have 12 boosted, which is awesome. All right, we're going to put down our... Whoop, I lost my mouse for a second there. We're going to put down one, two, three, four more rows of this. We're going to increase our black gem damage by another 143%. And now we are looking at a million for each black gem that's on the board. All that's left to do now is swipe. Let's we'll turn it down and see how much damage we can put with this. Let's go. Let's bro. Okay, here we go. Get that big cascade. Cascade it. Wow, this is a fabulous cascade. And we just did 84 million. <laughs> Wow, 84 million one cycle through his moves. 
and that's with his plate. You can just see how dominant that actually is. Just wow. Amazing. We're hit we're hitting Bill Rieger territory here. That is absolutely crazy. This time, if like if you don't get the plate, this time we're gonna put a Rhonda's jacket on because that does a hundred percent more dam gem damage for black gems for two more moves. So let's see how well that works if we're trying to get as much gem damage as possible. And next we'll show it with a drip plate. So you can see for those of you lucky enough to have one, uh just how deadly it can be. All right, so there we go. One, two. I don't want a cascade to fall there. Um, one here, one here, here, here. Put one up there. There we go. Good enough. I don't need all of them on the board. I just need him to break as many trap gems. There we go. We need some cascades on his part there. Good. We now have 10 boosted. Excellent. That's what we wanted. 10 is a good number for him to break. Although it leaves us with a lot on the board, but that's fine. So your goal here is to break three. If you possibly can break a three. That will hopefully and more likely create a match for you with black gems. So with a 10 spot, that still did 63 million. <laughs> so even if you don't get his plate, still making a 63 million with a Rhonda's jacket and an Acolyte plate still does a lot of damage. Wow. All right, we'll do that one more time. We'll hit it with a drip plate and we'll end the freshman 15. So you can just sort of, sort of see my first impressions about how this is the move set of amazing. Now, if I were a drip plate, I would look like that. All right. So last but not least, we will try it with the drip plate. Here we go. And now here comes the fun. Oh, I put this one down first. We got him. He needs to break us some of these. And then we can make ours. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. We need you to make a five match. Put that one down there. All right. That should be good. Oh, I broke that. That's even worse. Well, good. We have 11. Okay, so in the end, it worked out okay, even though I broke some. We have 11 on the board. One, two, three. We don't want to cover any seven time gems. That's why we're picking the lanes that we are. There's seven time gems in here. We want to keep as many of those on the board. Now we hit this black gem, so that way the drip plate also makes a lot more seven gems on the board. And now we just need to find a three match without there we go without a seven and that one hit for a 110 million damage wow bill rieger-esque so you can see just how devastating this brutus the barber beefcake can be just Wow. And that's just one move set. Check me out tomorrow. I'm going to post some more move sets and I'm going to add the gears in so we can just see how crazy and amazing he can be. Thanks for coming to class for the freshman 15. Professor out.